What's up, everybody? I'm Jared, and welcome to the Snow Thunder Morecast, where you can catch up on all the latest stuff going on in Snow Thunder, mostly me complaining about my leg injury and how I'm still not better somehow. Will's baffled by it. I'm baffled by it. The trainers are just like, stop doing stupid shit. And I'm just like, I, that was two weeks ago. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm just like, well, just don't go hard at all. Just don't. Just don't do it. I'm like, okay, do nothing. Thursday, Friday, I did nothing other than stretching. I, I, stretching, that was it. And ultrasound, I don't, I, I didn't know that was a thing for muscle injuries, but the, I don't know, I'm not going to health med stuff, they say it's gonna work, I just wanna get better. Okay, good, forget about that, okay. Bright side, we reorganized the room, um, as you can see, or may ever even pay attention, uh, my amplifier and my speakers are not actually up on top of my desk anymore. They are back on our dressers over there, uh, hooked up to the TV, finally. Um, so it's like kind of sort of entertainment system now, because like TV, speakers, good stuff. It looks cool. Um, we had to shove the fridge under Brian's desk, put the water tank up on top of his desk, move the chair, switch some things around. But it feels it feels better almost. It feels a little bit more dynamic. Um, he flipped his desk actually, so it's the room is a weird shape, but it works and it's it's good. I think it's the best we've had so far because you don't have to like reach around everything and you can get to the window a little bit easier than before because the TV was like directly in front of the window so anytime you had to like raise it raise the window or like mess with the fan it kind of sucked but so update on the on the room that was that was good because well so the whole reason that we did that is because Brian finally acknowledged that he didn't like having the TV there so that was <laughs> that was a revelation he had the other day that he was just like you know I'm moving it back. How would you feel about me doing that? I'm like, well, I'm definitely not gonna tell you no because I'm the one that said it was stupid in the first place. He's like, yeah. I wonder if I have any. Do I have documentation of that? If I have documentation of that, plug that in right here. Otherwise, forget about it. Um, <laughs> what have we done for the last week? All I've done video games wise is play Borderlands with Brian we're still doing that interestingly enough only a couple days after I had recorded the last more cast saying how Borderlands just goes on sale every single time there's a sale well lo and behold it was the lunar sale and the lunar new year sale and it was on discount like every other sale that it is so I picked up that was that's the only purchase I've made in a while <laughs> um, like Grocery store, Steam, online shopping, it, like that is a, this is the first money I've spent like all New Year actually. So I picked up the um, all the DLC minus the the holiday ones, the turkey and the the Moxie's wedding crashers or whatever the the hell that is the the five headhunter um, things whatever those are and then of course all the the skins and stuff but all the the main DLC the uh, Hammerlocks thing, the uh, um, Scarlet. Um, I re I'm really excited for Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. I, I, I really, I'm hyped for that one. And but we're gonna save it. We're gonna save it until we're in like Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. Um, so that can be like end tier stuff. Um, so that'll be cool. Um, at least I think that's how it works. I don't even know. I don't know how the leveling stuff or anything like that works for the, uh, I don't know right all I know is last night I was trying to get through the Hyperion slaughter circle or whatever the crap and I got to like the fifth round and it's just wrecking me I've only hit I've only passed the first three rounds out of seven and it's just difficult but I'm I'm getting the levels up though um, I'm level about I'm almost level 35 with my commando and I said I was going to use one of my golden keys on the chest once I hit level 35. Because our goal 
pretty much what Brian said our goal for this week, probably going to accomplish this weekend, is to defeat Hyperius for the first time, because we haven't been able to do that. Um, we're not master players, we don't know what the hell we're doing half the time. <laughs> but we've been trying to fight Hyperius and we just can't beat him, can't do it. So, going to wait a few levels and see how that goes. Um, but in the meantime, I have D&D to prep for. Because um, D&D is tonight, of course, because I normally record the more cast on Wednesdays. Um, and I meta the fuck out of this thing. Anyways. Um, so, unfortunately, last week we had a, a big hiccup at the end. Um, we had a hallmate come in and kind of completely derail the entire session. But granted, it was like 11 at night. Is it terrible? But it's just like... The longer your D&D session goes on, the more distractions come in and out of the room, the more your players are just like, it, it's best to try to like, I just want it, because it's just like dialogue and stuff that I gotta get through, but, so, eh, and then, of course, I apologize tonight, or Wednesday night, this past Wednesday night, um, we will not be releasing the first D&D um, &D video from eons ago. Um, because I haven't completed the, any of the artwork that I want to do for that. Um, I had, um, essay draft, a speech and stuff earlier this week, um, stuff at the end of last week, so I was kind of slammed, and then this weekend was just kind of recovery, cleaning the room, minus my desk, of course, but that's, it. don't worry about that, um, so, of course, I deeply apologize for that, but my plan is for next Wednesday for that to be released. Hopefully I can get that stuff to Michael in time for that to actually be a thing. Um, and then as for D&D Guild, Sunday, 4 to 6 in the game room, we had one uh, guy from Argo come in, actually, and was asking about it. Just kinda, he was uncertain. He, was, he came in, I'm watching Batman vs. Superman playing pool. And he comes in, he's like, is this, uh, is this for when the D&D thing is? I'm like, oh, crap, yeah, that is. I have to completely switch gears. I'm totally unprepared to finally actually talk to a person about this because I was planning on the first person to come in, be like Jared or like Lewis with like their group, which are like the groups that are like, they say they're like, yeah, we're go totally going to do this. And then Jared is like, well, one of our guys is like out of state or out of the country or I don't even I don't even know. And then the other one, like, just got engaged. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm, am I heartbroken? No. If that time doesn't actually get used. I'm just trying to provide the environment and availability for it. But so we have one freelancer player, like, yeah. And I want it to be, like, I want there to be a DM there. Not necessarily me, because I want to work with people that just walk in. But we need someone there. I. I I would like someone there that's running weekly Adventures League stuff, and that can't happen when we only have one player. So hopefully I can get in contact with him and at least get him like a character set up and hopefully spread the word some more for when like people actually show up and want to do it. Um, but I did, I worked on the preliminary basis of a page um, for the D&D Guild, which is available currently on snowfunder.net. Um, under the tabletop tab, and then if you go to um, Sunday D and D Guild, um, there's a I got like a brief write up to summarize it, and then contact information for the people that the the major people, which is only three currently, um, that are because Lewis is kind of wants to be like a freelancing DM, um, at least as far as I, I'm aware. Um, but the point is like to not like put everybody who's in a group that like a perspective group but I will list the groups and hopefully work that into um, a project that I have uh, in mind um, but I won't reveal any of that until there's actually stuff to back that up um, in the meantime hoping to just continue spreading the word uh, you do stuff for the community Jared that's more than we can ask for thank you because I never make it to any of the Argo meetings or game nights or anything I just am like an honorary member, it's a club, seems. but I just like, I, I'm involved in it because I talk to Isaiah and like the other guys like a lot and I really like Vampire. Looking forward to the week ahead, 
we got the Pokemon Go Community Day on Saturday from 2 to 5. First two hours of which I will be free, the last hour of which I will be in the game room, but incredibly close to a Pokestop, so dropping a lure on that for sure. And hoping to catch enough Dratini to get a Dragonite. It's good, good stuff. I'm excited for that because I have never, I don't think I've ever had the availability to actually try to catch a Dratini or a Dragonite. So that's cool. Or a Dragonite. Same difference. Um, so that'll be fun. And oh, the one other thing. I was having dinner with some of the, my hallmates last night, and the qu the question was brought up: Is Captain America? superhuman now we of course he's a superhero but the, the the question is is he superhuman now i the the term superhuman is definitely up for debate but the the argument against him being superhuman was that he is peak human like his physical attributes are the best at which you could achieve by being human. I'm not going to say my opinion um, just yet. Next week, I will reveal it. In the meantime, you guys can vote. I think there's a there's a vote thing. Maybe I hope. I think. Otherwise, comment down below. Um, I might put something on the Snow Thunder site or something like that. Um, or email us with an entire essay stating why or why not Captain America is super human. I don't know, I thought that'd be fun just to bring up. So, in the meantime, I'll catch you guys next week. And, uh, hopefully... Yeah, I'm not gonna say my desk is gonna be clean. It might be, it might not be. Uh, mm. Mm. I'd rather have better storyline and better encounters for D&D than have a clean desk, quite honestly. So, priorities. Also, I'd rather have clean laundry. So, because when I finally need to do more stuff, it's all right there. And like, I haven't been needing to like sit down work. It's just like typing on my laptop. So I can just like chill on the couch, go to my bed. It's just like, we'll catch you guys next week. In the meantime, stay classy, stay in character, and remember to always pinch before you sprinkle. We'll catch you later.